If you want big time fantasy, look further than the hero of the week is Christian McCaffrey. Help my fantasy team now. We improved at three and one. It's like, what can CMC not do for the 49ers? A four tutty day propelling SF to their win over the Cardinals. That mark of four in a game is a career high for McCaffrey. Fantasy owners can rejoice because 48 points from McCaffrey, that will get it done. He's one of the few guys who had banner days putting up those big numbers when it comes to QBs. Josh Allen sitting there with 43 fantasy points. A.J. Brown had 38 and Cole Komet giving love for the tight ends with 27. We're now bringing our fantasy football expert, Heath Cummings. And Heath, uh, let's talk a little bit of Waiver Wire Tuesday. I'll be paying close attention to this one. QBs, where should we look? We're going to look to Sam Howell. And, you know, we had the matchup last week between Justin Fields and Russell Wilson. And we thought, you know, those defenses are so bad. We'll start both those guys. Well, you look at the streamers list and two of the top three streamers are facing those defenses. It's Sam Howell first off on Thursday night going up against the Chicago Bears. He's been kind of up and down, really struggled with taking sacks. The good news for him, the Bears don't pressure anyone. He should have all the time that he needs. And then J Zach Wilson facing the Broncos. He actually looked decent at times against the Chiefs and everybody's looked good against the Broncos the guy there in the middle we've got to wait for Jimmy Garoppolo to get out of the concussion protocol we expect that to happen early in the week as soon as it does he becomes a high-end number two and I think the thing you have to remember this week is we've got four teams on a bye for the first time so you got to lower that bar for a starter just a little bit there's not a lot of guys you drafted as starters that I would start these guys over but I would start all three of them over Joe Burrow what about running backs? I hate to see you mention Joe Burrow. I have Joe Burrow, but what are we looking at for running backs? Yeah, if you have Joe Burrow, you need to find a different quarterback. They'll get one of those three guys. Uh, Javante Williams dealing with an injury. We don't know the extent of it, but we do need to make sure that both Julio McLaughlin and Samaj P. Ryan are rostered in your league. This might be a Josh Palmer, Quentin Johnston type situation where we think that P. Ryan's going to be better this year, but we'd rather have McLaughlin for the rest of the season. So P. Ryan and both these guys borderline number two running backs this week if there's no Javante Williams. I think there is some pretty significant upside in the second half of the season for McLaughlin though he's been the best Broncos running back and then go make sure Chuba Hubbard's added Miles Sanders not quite right with the groin injury a very difficult matchup against a great Lions run defense this week I think there'll be more passing to the running backs than handoffs Chuba Hubbard's been good in that role we look at wide receivers who should you target there yeah, the, only one of these guys in my top 40 at the position this week. That's Tyler Boyd, who should see extra targets with what we expect T. Higgins to miss time. So Boyd, a borderline number three wide receiver. Both Jamison and Williams and Rasheed Rice, more of stash candidates. Williams got his suspension reduced. He will be back this week or at least eligible to play this week. It might take him a while to get going. Rasheed Rice, we've seen his involvement growing in the Chiefs passing game. Kadarius Tony has been a complete letdown. Sky Moore still not doing anything rice has been very good on a per route basis now we're starting to see those routes go up i wouldn't be surprised if there's a breakout in the next two to three weeks and all of a sudden rasheed rice is just the number one wide receiver for the kansas city chiefs and tight ends what do we have there a couple of really good options in Jake Ferguson and Cole Komet. These guys, I believe, are top 12 tight ends for the rest of the season. Komet actually tied with DJ Moore for the target share lead on the Chicago Bears. Ferguson right up there with C.D. Lamb. These guys you can count on to get five-plus targets. They're still tight ends. They're still going to have terribly bad games. But for the remainder of the year, I think they're top 12 options. Zach Ertz is a super frustrating one because he's dominating targets for the Arizona Cardinals. He's absolutely doing nothing with them. Dropped what should have been a sure touch down last week he's a volume PPR play only sneaks into the top 12 just because the position's so bad but I really wish they'd get Trey McBride more involved yeah at that time of year you got to make some changes if you want to stay in contention for the remainder of the season Heath Cummings checking in with us talking some fantasy football we appreciate you for your time and you can always hear him on fantasy football today they tape that every day to get you up to speed with all the info you need to know news injuries and all that like, subscribe for your listening pleasure.